Some residents in Tembisa's Winnie Mandela area are stranded in old dilapidated houses, whilst other people occupy property allocated to them for RDPs. The Department of Housing Settlement in the province has appealed to people to report such cases to them. ANN7 reporter Natasha Piri followed up on this story and filed this report. Josephine Matabo and her husband have been living in the Winnie Mandela informal settlement since the dawn of democracy. Hoping for a better future for their family, the Matabos applied for RDB House, which was approved recently. Upon visiting the stand where their RDB House was to be built, they were confronted with shock. Someone else had occupied their property and built a house claiming to have been allocated the land too. I was allocated an RDP house and told it would be given to me in 2017. But to my surprise, a man is living on the land that is allocated to me. I'm really hurt. The shack that I live in is falling apart. I cannot take this anymore. This family is not the only bizarre case who seem to have been allocated a property later given to another person while they wait for the structure to be erected. Shedrek Chauke who is the owner of a newly built house in Winnie Mandela, was told to evict his home as it is not his property, regardless of him having documentation that he is the rightful owner. A man came here claiming that the house I'm living in is his, and this is untrue. I have all the relevant documentation proving that this is my house. Even the councillor knows this. Both families say this problem stems from corrupt housing officials who have sold stands to other people. MMC of Human Settlements, Lisiba Mpia, has urged the likes of Chawuke and the Matabos to report their cases within his department. This is one example of many um, uh, issues that exist within the department. And uh, those that have been approved and are not yet located to their uh, houses will be prioritized to the most immediate available projects that we are currently busy with. We need to have the most available information in terms of the allocations of, of uh, corruption so that we can be able to act with immediate effect with the corruptors and corruptees. While the Matabo family anxiously waits to be moved from this piece of land to their rightfully owned stand, MMC Mpia says he will urgently look into the matter and visit the family soon. For ANN7 News, I'm Natasha Piri, Edwini Mandela.